Hello again and uh, I'm here going to show another method of handling the errors in test stand. Uh, this is going to be a simpler method compared to my earlier method where we used to change the error out of each individual lab use steps. But here what we can do is if you have the uh, action step with uh, uh, error out and if you want to just uh, ignore the errors uh, you can just go here and check this option so let's do without checking and let's see what happens this way is basically uh, ha sends out an error uh, just like this uh, direct error output with uh, error code 1234 and uh, this error string is error record and if I try to run this sequence uh, from the test U, it is, uh, so it is going to run it and I'm not going to give it a serial number. It has run it, has given the typical error dialog from the test stand. So if you are generally going to do this ignore error all the time for that specific step, then you can make use of this other step other uh, runtime option here so here you can go here and uh, click the ignore runtime errors and let's try to run it again when I run it again so, yep it just ran I ran the direct main sequence let me try to run the UTC again the serial number input and it just ran without any error dialog and it has gone to the result and you can see that the sequence is passed essentially whereas here we can see the status as error in the previous method it shows just as done right thank you